Thomas Barrio Lemieux, and he is off, racing it all alone. Lemieux, his first shot on goal, and he scores! Mario Lemieux, living up quickly to all the... Here's Lemieux, the center penalty coming up. Look at Lemieux! Oh my heavens! What a goal! What a move! Lemieux! Oh, baby! Number 17. has become the second fastest 500 goal scorer in National Hockey League history. It is 7-5 Pittsburgh. This is Mario's 605th game. Only Wayne Gretzky did it any faster. He did it in 575 games. Congratulations to number 66. Forgettable memories as almost any player in the game. But one of his most incredible accomplishments has been largely forgotten. It was New Year's Eve 1988, Pittsburgh hosting New Jersey, when Mario made history. Trying to cut the angle off Lemieux and Broughton. Lemieux in. Score! His seventh shorthanded goal of the year. They've got the full two minutes. Score! Goals at even strength, shorthanded, and on the power play gave Mario a unique hat trick. And when the Penguins were awarded a penalty shot, Mario had the chance to cash in again. That's it! Four goals for Mario Lemieux, a penalty shot! Four goals, four different ways. Every way possible, except one. Front the new shoots, he scores! story for Mario Lemieux. Is he fantastic? First adjustment by the Canadians coaching staff. Matthew Danano playing with Sheldon Surrey right now on the penalty kill. Usually Commissary here, but Commissary is struggling with this team. Good proactive coaching by Rick Green. Gonchar in across the line, into the corner for Lemieux. Loses a foot race to Danano, who fires it down the ice, and Lemieux is hurt behind the play. Uh oh. Mario Lemieux is injured in behind Jose yeah, Theodore. I think it's Matthew Danano's stick that gets him on the follow through. This is not a good deal. And the building hushes. Yeah. We talked about the, the change. Matthew Danano goes back. He's strong in the puck. Watch the fall through now. He gets it, and his stick comes right up and gets Lemieux right near the eye. Now, I don't know how many times we have to say this, but enough. You see the stick comes up and gets him in the eye. Enough. Please, if you're out there, ask Matt Sundin and has not affected his offensive ability putting a shield on. Right in the left eye. I don't know how many times we've got to see this around the National Hockey League. Players, wake up. Stop listening to the union leadership. Wake up. Put them on. The view slowly to his knees. And there's no blood, thankfully. No, I, but come on, enough's enough. We see John LeClaire, we see Mario there. Craig Rive for the Canadians are thinking about putting a shield on for practices to start because he got hit in the eye the other night. Five stitches. We saw Brad Richards in the Tampa Bay practice get it in the eye. He says he'll never ever practice without a shield again or play without one again. Now Lemieux makes his way to the bench. There's no penalty on the play. And so there's a minute 16 to go in this Pittsburgh power play. And Mario dodges one there. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Two thirty-one to go in the opening period. John McClare talking to Kerry Frazier. Nine seconds to go in this Pittsburgh power play. 124 to go in the opening period. And Lemieux back on the ice. He'll take the face off against Koivu. Lemieux wins the draw. After Melikar. Drive from Jackman goes just wide. Palfi with it. Sigmund Palfi center scores. Mario Lemieux. Wow. These are spectacular hands. Now, Coffey knows how to pass and knows how to shoot. Mary Lemieux, tough body to move. Nothing Matthew Danino can really do in this situation because of the big body presence of Lemieux. Face-off win, good posture by Pittsburgh right now. Distribution down low. 
Everybody's battling around, identifying there is nothing Matthew Danino can do in that situation because of the gift he has. Look at this. Nothing he can do. He's trying everything. He's locked on. He's engaged. He's battling. Uh-oh. -uh. Not against the big man. Again, he had those saucer-sized eyes this morning when we saw Mario. He's ready to rock tonight. Lemieux with his seventh of the year. And the Penguins with a 2-0 lead on a night when everything pointed to Montreal.